Today, I'm going to talk about hand position. The hands should look like they are when they're relaxed. When you're hanging them by the side and you shake them out, you'll see that your wrists are relatively straight, your fingers are soft and they're curved, and the thumb is slightly above the first finger. Now, when people start getting into trouble on saxophone is because either the instrument doesn't fit their hand or they're pushing with their arms. Now, the saxophone side keys, these are the palm keys, uh, may be too low, especially that D key. And you may have to put a riser on it or you may have to build it up in some way so that the instrument fits your hand. Otherwise, you're going to collapse your hand to get to the side key. That's also true on the right hand as well. When a person is playing, sometimes they'll push the saxophone with their thumb, with their arm. And that will bring the hand forward so that in order to put your fingers on the pearls, you're going to curl them, which is a little tense, or you're going to be playing off your knuckles. Another problem on the left hand is that sometimes people will lift their wrist. Again, it's with the arm. They lift the wrist and they pull their little finger off of the spatula keys. They pull their hand, pull their hand off of the side palm keys and their fingers will become straight. The wrist is cocked. So it really doesn't loan to good finger technique because there's tension in the hand. The solution to that is simply drop your arm, drop your shoulder. On the right hand, there's a similar problem in that there's a tendency to push with the thumb. And that's caused from the neck strap being too low so the mouthpiece doesn't go in your mouth. And so players will push with the thumb to lift the saxophone. Now, it kind of looks cool, but it's not very conducive to good finger technique. So, uh, the solution to that is to, again, bring your arm back and your shoulder back. If you don't, you're going to be overshooting your fingers off the keys and you're going to play off your knuckles or you're going to curl them. Very often the thumb will slide under that thumb key too far. So look for those things to see if that's happening. Now, there's another issue with the right hand and that is that the thumb rest is between the first and second fingers. Here's the thumb rest and you can see it lines up between the first and second fingers. Well, that's not the ideal place, the most ergonomic place for your thumb and it adds some tension into your fingers. So the solution to that is rest your thumb on top of the thumb rest so that your hand floats. Now, you're going to lose your side F sharp key because as you can see, the side F sharp key is on top of the thumb rest. You won't miss it because your hand is going to be so agile, you won't miss that chromatically. You will miss it if you have to do an F sharp trill to an F. In that case, because you're floating your hand, just move your thumb so you have access to that key and you can do that trill when that occasion arises. By floating your hands like this, you will find that your finger techniques becomes much more light and your tone will free up because your shoulder girdle and your arms will be free and open. I'm Steve Duke and this is SaxCoach.org.